Hi everybody, it's still August 9, 2021. All agendas, all agendas are still on track and they're only speeding up. Did you see this? Dramatic video shows people trapped in neck high water during Omaha flash floods and they were in an elevator, in an elevator, elevator. This is the basement. They were in this elevator and it just continued to uh, fill up with water. Yeah, well, I guess it's a new kind of flash flooding. Um, and it was up, this man, I think he said he's five, eight. Look at this water, he's standing. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense, doesn't it? There are plenty of videos on on um, YouTube, it, yeah, this is, what are you gonna do, okay? What are you gonna do? This is the basement, this is the elevator, before, or maybe the water is up to here now. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, how I almost died. That water just kept, just bursting into the elevator. Mud and soot cover the roads near 168th and Harrison, where last night waters quickly overtook the area. Today, one man scoops handfuls of water from the bottom of his van that had to be abandoned last night. He doesn't want to speak on camera, but tells us his wife was driving in the area and did not realize how fast and how high the water was on the street. He says she doesn't know how to swim and was fearful for her life last night as the water quickly rose to her waist. Today, she is safe, but a little shook up as they work to get their vehicle home. And further west in Gretna, the water was less a concern than the strong wind gusts. Water was coming in through my windows. It was a direct shot. Limbs were up against my, leaves were up against my windows. And it was just um, roaring. Lydia Levine describes the wind speeds as frightening. And at one point, she and her father sought shelter in the basement in fear of any tornadoes. She woke this morning to find her gazebo in pieces and her air conditioning unit on its side. And then when I went around the corner and saw the AC off, I just couldn't believe that. Nearby, neighbors work together to clear out fallen tree limbs and carry heavy furniture back home. Reporting in Millard and Gretna, Jessica Edson, 3 News. It is just our weather. The new normal. The new weather. The new weather. And wow. Um, climate change is taking off. I, you know, and I can't even listen to this. And you know what, Amy? You need to retire. You just need to retire. Greta. Greta, 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 she's back, she's back. There's a new IPCC report, intergovernmental, not scientific, but intergovernmental panel on climate change. Hmm, what do they do? They write policy for governments to achieve the United Nations agenda 2030. 21, 2030. Look into it if you don't know what I'm talking about. And this woman is a climate change pusher. Does she ever talk to the countless numbers of climatologists, scientists, uh, all those in the field? Does she ever talk to them? Those that have said the IPCC reports are worthy of the nearest trash can. The modeling, 
so off, but it's kind of like the modeling of the pandemic. Oh, right. But so many still listen to this woman and believe that this this woman is like an angel and she just walks with this with integrity stamped on her forehead and she is a sorry to say this just a piece of crap okay just a piece of crap she is she's a sellout you used to be good amy you're a friggin sellout and you do not report the truth. Oh, yeah, some of the reporting is still truthful to get you hooked. Like I was hooked. And I got off it in 2011 when I saw this woman push the climate change, the global warming, just fraud upon her viewers. In 2011, never will she report the truth. Never. Yeah, but wow, she's all over it. This one, from fires to floods to sea level rise, human-induced climate crisis is severely disrupting Earth. You, you are severely disrupting Earth with your sick, twisted mind. You sell out. Yeah, I, of all of the journalists out there, you know, I had the experience with the New York Times. I was an avid reader of the New York Times for decades. And I will never forget, and I think it was 2008, walking in to this small uh, grocery store in West Stockbridge, Massachusetts, to pick up the New York Times. My hand went to take a paper. And I stopped, and I thought to myself, what are you doing? Why? Because it already had come out about all of the lies. Judy, what the hell is her name? Judith, oh, during the um, uh, lead up to the Iraq War and you know, during the Iraq War and the lying of the New York Times. And I literally froze, hand in midair, on its way down to pick up a New York Times. And I thought, why are you buying something when what you're reading, you don't know if it's the truth. And I never bought one again. Never. Never. 2011, when I realized that this woman is a sellout and lying, and she is so bought you know, just bought and sold. Okay, I'll push the climate change, global warming, United Nations into governmental panel for climate change. I'll push it on my show. Give me the money. Where's the money? Where's the money? And I've said this in videos before, and I'll say it again. I want my money back that I donated to you, Amy. I want even the money the $20 that I spent for a ticket to hear you speak in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Disgusting. Disgusting. But can you get the liberals off democracy now? No. No. Because they do. They think she's just a goddess. And here she is again, a code red for humanity. Major United Nations report warns of climate catastrophe if urgent action not taken. Get out of your cars. Get rid of your cows. Stop breathing. I can't stand it anymore. This country is so gone, just gone. United Nations sounds deafening warning on climate change. We will never talk about weather modification. We will never talk about the technology that man has to create this quote-unquote climate change. We will never ever address the technology that man has to create atmospheric heat. Oh, global warming. We will never talk about those directed energy weapons that man has that can create 
fire. We will never talk about the truth. We will just continue to go along with the official narrative that has so warped the minds of Americans and they don't want to get unwarped. That's our problem. So you can listen to this Jeremiah Babe. Prepare to lose your job, get your money out of the blank bank, bubbles getting dangerous. Ominous times. They are. Oh boy, things are picking up speed, to say the least. I've been reading about and also hearing from subscribers in the comments section that they're having difficulty with their banks. Now, you know that more banks have decided to get away uh, from hmm, loans. Right, we're not going to issue any more loans to, you know, just the serfs. <laughs> um, maybe it's because something's happening. Something's coming to us. Something maybe close. Why should I give out all of this money when I know the collapse is near. Get ready, guys. I'm telling you. It's it's not good. Look at this. I, I, you know, oh, God. Portland, I feel so bad for you guys who live there. All right. Breaking. Antifa assaults families and children at Christian prayer event. Yeah, they did. Wait, why are you mad? What is that? What is that? He has some. Has... We speak peace to you in Jesus' name. What? What the fuck the Knock him out! Hey, come on now! Get back, get back. Calm down. No, no. No, I got you. What? Calm down. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All cops and bastards, in the name of Jesus, amen. That's your tolerant left. Your tolerant left. Can you tell us what happened? Um, so we were about to have a worship event, and uh, Antifa just rolled in like an angry mob, started throwing flash bombs at everybody, macing everybody, rotten eggs at everybody, um, black paint. Um, they threw a flash bomb into a group of kids that were out there um, from like four months old to like ten. Um, yeah, they were ruthless. Unbelievable. Yeah. And this is a pastor? Yeah, I'm a pastor also. Walked up to ask him to stop. Walked up to ask him to stop throwing things at the children. Because there's kids down there. I mean, they're toddlers. Yeah. And they sprayed me too, obviously. So, anyhow. How is it that this group continues on? How is it? Yeah, oh, right, they don't exist. Mainstream media. Oh, and didn't Biden say, yeah, and uh, maybe even Pelosi or the Democrats. They don't exist. Antifa doesn't exist. Good job, parents. 
bringing up a real nice crowd of young adults. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the pandemic agenda. Aussies fume after Victoria's premier concedes COVID in wastewater used to justify statewide lockdown never existed. Never existed. Okay. Oh, I don't like this man at all. All right. I'm in the United States. It doesn't matter. I do not like this man. He is a lying sack of shit. And, you know, it's the people. It's the people. It's the ordinary people not putting a stop to these people. Staying apart keeps us together. What a wonderful... Oh, God. You know, yeah, he admitted he cited non-existent coronavirus tainted sewage in his decision to lock down the state. Andrews announced a seven-day lock, uh, statewide shutdown, August 5, in response to the wastewater detection of COVID-19 in Wang uh, Garada, Wang Garada, uh, sorry if I've mispronounced pronounced it, uh, I'm just not good. Anyway, a rural city, a rural city, about 236 kilometers, 147 miles from Melbourne. They found a, well, let, let's keep reading. The discovery creates the potential that regional Victorians have been exposed to COVID-19, Andrews explained. The decision to widen restrictions to include the whole state was designed to keep regional Victoria safe. You know, what really has bothered me for this entire pandemic is they never talk about you got to get some exercise. You got to get the sun. You got to get, you know, vitamin D, strengthen your immune system, eat well. Um, no, no, none of that is talked about. Instead, they're keeping you safe by making sure that you're isolated, that, well, you can exercise, you know, within your uh, whatever they have decided, three kilometers, five kilometers. Um, you can't work, though. Sorry, no income for you. Your business, uh, well, you might have to close the doors. We're keeping you safe. This has been going on for a very, very, very long time. So something is wrong with the world's people that are not getting, that that does not keep you safe. Apart from emergencies and gro grocery shopping, Victoria's citizens are required to remain at home. Public gatherings are prohibited with people only able to meet one person in their social circle. Educational institutions will revert to online teaching. But the reason behind the draconian statewide decree was soon rubbished by local officials. Andrews initially claimed the sewage test had pinged positive, then went negative before turning positive again. Ping! And you know what is really disturbing? <laughs> it's really so upsetting. It's just so upsetting. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. I can't. I can't say this out loud. But yeah, uh, you get it. You get it. You reading it? Got it. Yeah. The. Uh, the sensors are all around monitoring us. Yeah, see? Okay. Uh, so, do you have the brain that can take that in? Uh, does it compute? Is it doing anything? Moving around, you know, brain cells or, I don't know, neurotransmitters? that are going to the critical thinking area of your brain and turning on the light. <sighs> and yes, Australia has very few numbers. 
I mean, it was for a while in your wastewater, but now it wasn't. Yeah. So they destroy your life. And they're wrong. They're telling you uh, lies. What, so many people won't question it, right? You're not going to question. You can't even question what you're hearing. You're just going to submit, obey, comply. Daddy is telling me something. Look at this face, okay? Daddy is abusive. Daddy is a psychopath. Daddy wants to destroy your life. He does not want to make you healthy. So, yeah, he lied. He lied. Right here, he lied. Fake poo. Fake poo. All right, let's listen to Vanessa Valentine, who, well, has a lot to say in a very short period of time. Hello, beautiful Valentines. Uh, just a quick one. We are the laughing stock of the world. And I'm sure uh, you know that um, uh, Joe Rogan, whether you like him or dislike him, I don't know a lot about him, but he's even speaking about us and how our government is uh, taking the piss. I mean, we're talking a handful of cases, literally, and we're locked out. Like, locked out cannot have visitors in your home for reasons to leave. You're not allowed to go further than five kilometres. This is so unlawful and illegal. And the problem is, when you talk to a lot of these, I don't even want to call them lefties because I, I don't know if they are, but, you know, that still, will still say, you know, you will give them facts like the PCR test now, you know, um, even on CDC, like it's been, they've said it doesn't work and it gives all these false positives. Even though you are giving them facts, they will still tell you, oh, well, that's an American website. It's the same fucking test, you moron. And you know what I realized? These people, they just can't be wrong. And you know what? That is a really shitty uh, quality to have, right? I can be wrong. I've been wrong many times. It's not nice to be wrong. It hurts your ego a little bit, but fuck, you grow from it, don't you? A lot of these people cannot be wrong. They will not allow it. And because of that, they can't grow. If you can never be wrong, you'll never grow. And fuck you. Fuck those people. I don't want those people in my life. Um, but one thing this has done, all eyes are on this country now. Good. Good. We're the laughing stock of the whole world. Good. And so we should be because our government is torturing us for nothing. Don't talk to me about cases six or 50. It doesn't matter. We've seen it. Restrictions don't change at all. My grandfather can't even swim. You know, he started swimming. It was making him feel beautiful again. Uh, and he can't again. Is that for his health? Because I'm sure uh, we were meant to be protecting our elderly. Hmm. I think we've lost sight. Not you and I, but many people. And it's all because they can't be fucking wrong. Well, you know what? You can sit there in your little fucking hole and be right. Be right till you're blue in the face. Let the rest of us live and I will keep doing it. I will live. I will be free and happy uh, just like many of you will be. So, look, it is going to be a long fight. We know that. Um, but it's all right. So just hang tight. God bless. Love you all. Hey, you know... Uh, 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 laughing okay. ...of the world. And I... Oh, my God. And I didn't even have my mic on. I was just going on and on about how dare you. You can't be the laughing stock of the whole world because this is the USA, 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 number one, number one. We're exceptional. Yeah. Ah. All right. You can take number one. We'll move down to number two. Yeah. You know? Oh my God, there's a case in Victoria. Lock it down. But, you know, the unbelievably absurd 
mainstream media reporting should really beg questions, and it doesn't seem to. So the light is not on in a whole lot of brains. That's scary. That means this is just going to continue. So here, see this? See this? Okay. What does this mean? It means, can I say this on YouTube? Um, there's an, um, okay. There is an immune system that we all have. It's inside there. And it's rather miraculous how it attacks infections. And if you strengthen that immune system, eat garlic, raw garlic, well, that'll really strengthen it. But you, you will have a strong immune system that will fight infection. And, well, people who are told that they had COVID are developing these natural immunities, but that's not good enough. That's not good enough. But it appears that the uh, natural antibodies last longer than those synthetic ones. 14 Israelis have caught COVID-19 despite receiving the booster shot. Oh, the booster shot, right. Oh, well, this is our new normal. It'll be get your shot, get your shot, get your booster, get your shot, get your shot, get your booster, get your booster, get your third, fourth, fifth, sixth. This is the new normal. Right. And well, even with the booster shot, they still are coming down with COVID-19, which is really very interesting, don't you think? Now, oh, here, three quarters of new COVID cases in these people, not us, these people. And that comes from these people. So why do we continually hear mainstream media attacking those who are not vaccinated? Seems a little odd, don't you think? Okay, here. You can read this study coming out of Public Health England and 44 pages, but essentially it says, hmm, it doesn't appear that there's much difference between the unvaccinated, unvaccinated and vaccinated uh, in transmission of this, well, it, you gotta watch what you say. The sensors, they're all around, they're monitoring. Fauci warns that Dakota motorcycle rally will spread virus, doesn't mention mass immigration or Obama's super spreader party. Nope, not at all. Can't listen to this. I did and I can't again. But that's right. So in South Dakota, there's a big, I guess, Harley Davidson or motorcycle rally. A lot of people show up for it. Well, that's just going to be a super spreader, but not Obama's 500 guests of his most intimate friends. 200 staff. No problem. And were they masking up? No. You want to hear these? <sighs> Do I go to that? All right, I'll go to that. You know, I don't know how long this is going to be, but yeah, let's go to this. Um, well, we'll start here. Joy. Joy Reed, MSNBC. This woman. How are these people remaining on news shows when they just attack 
people um, and they say the most outrageous things and they lie oh that's right USA 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 I feel like the people tweeting hashtag Obama variant with the most frantic rage are mostly mad that they're unvaccinated, spurned by the culture arses, would never, spurned by the culture arses, would never ever get invited to a party at that level. Hmm. Well, I would say, Joy, you need to go back to elementary school, learn how to write. Uh, oh, they don't, they don't do that anymore. All right. Um, I feel like the people tweeting hashtag Obama variant with the most frantic rage are mostly mad that they're unvaccinated, spurned by the culture arses, would never, ever get invited to a party at that level. Is my brain going? Or is that written really poorly? Also, my guess is they're cool with, 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 with uh, the unvaxxed and unmasked at Sturgis, the motorcycle rally. Okay, but she actually went on. And would run to Mar-a-Lago and trip and fall on the way there. Get up and keep stumble running to Palm Beach to be in an unvaxxed, maskless mixer with their golden calf, his weird kids, and all the COVID droplets available to share. Just some thoughts on this Sunday, I think. Joy was out partying Saturday night, and she's a little hungover. You're a clown, lady. Oh, yeah. Get back in your clown car and stay in your fake journalism lane. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> We've got... And that these people still exist and go on. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right. Well... Yeah. Can you tell me what this is supposed to say? This is the Obama napkin. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures. Oh, what is this? Is, is this 60 at the end? But what the hell is this? And you know what? All of you who know symbols and uh, go for it. I, I, I'm too tired. But that's a very weird thing, I think. And there's a whole lot of weird things, like John Legend, who on August 2nd tweeted out this public service announcement. We were so happy to announce new tour dates today. The tour moves to mostly indoor venues as we get further into fall, though. Please keep in mind that the Delta variant of COVID-19 is highly transmissible and doesn't give a shit about our fun plans. If you plan to be in a large group of people, like hopefully our concert in October, you have plenty of time to get fully vaccinated before you come. Every city and venue will have different rules, but we don't need the mayor or governor to tell us what's safe. Because <laughs> we're little children and we're going to listen. We, we know what to do. Being unvaccinated and or unmasked and or unmasked at a large indoor gathering is like literally begging to get COVID. Please don't do that to yourself, your family, or your neighbors, because John Lennon, he's so concerned about you. He loves you, John Legend. He loves you. He was invited to the party and he was unmasked. Yeah, here. Oh boy, oh boy. Here's one party goer, whoever. Singer performed at the party. 
uh, more people. Oh my God, they're indoors in this vehicle, in this uh, van, and they're unmasked, and they're not social distancing. John Legend, why aren't you on that bus telling them that, you know, hey guys, we know what to do. Unbelievable. So when you put together climate change, global warming, and the pandemic, oh boy, all of these vehicles uh, spewing CO2, creating more global global warming. Uh, but it was Obama's 60th. Right after Obama's 60th, the IPCC report comes out. Ah! Urgent! We've got to! Amy Goodman, we have to do something urgently. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, I guess no social distancing for the rich and famous. And Obama, they call him the president. Please, give me a break. Yeah. Guys. That was my cats. Give me a break, all right? Yeah, he's he's just a Oh god. We 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 are just filled with sellouts and psychopaths and oh my god. These there is a lot of SUVs, very big SUVs on that tiny little Martha's Vineyard. That's not good. Think about it. I mean, think about all of the exhaust. Oh, well, let's see. <gasps> Obama dancing. Where's your mask? Where's her? And her mouth is open. Aren't there places where you can't sing still? Right. No singing. Get that mask on. Social distance. And there are so many mandatory masks. Uh, declarations that have been made just today. Look at this. Now, only, only those who truly have given up thinking and are so demoralized that they think that this is fine. They think it's fine. You know, rules, rules for thee, but not for we. Oh, yeah, and look, you're best in a Fendi shirt like Barack Obama. Give me a flipping break. Dancing away, that mouth all the way up. She's probably breathing too. And no, this isn't a super spreading event. And you're supposed to get that tongue in, okay? Because you could, <gasps> a droplet could just and then boom everybody has that delta variant that's that there's no test for yeah um, you can watch the video i don't pfft. these people are sickening they're sickening you look around you know i think that guy but probably staff um no masks no masks high-end you know alcohol oh la 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 Okay. Oh. And there was this woman who actually, uh, New York Times reporter, a sickening look, look, New York Times reporter, ridiculed for fawning the sophisticated vaccinated of the Obama party guests. And they weren't. Um, actually, I read an article that some of them were not vaccinated, but does it matter? Because the CDC has come out. Vaccinated are transmissible of that. Ver Get your mask on. I guess the rich and famous don't have to worry. Um, other people said, you know, this is really being overblown. They're following all the safety precautions. People are going to sporting events that are bigger than this. This is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. And, and this is just about optics. It's not about safety. Wow. 
Are you a public health official? No. You're just a writer for the New York Times. On CNN. Spewing the propaganda. Oh, boy. This is a sophisticated, vaccinated crowd. And, you know, there are, um, what did she say, something in sports um, arena, arenas that have more people than Obama's very, very large party. So what's wrong with the Sturges event coming up in South Dakota? We are pathetic. We really are because... No social distancing, no masks. You would think they would all be sick with the Delta variant. Antiperspirant wipes? Oh, yeah, for dancing. So you want to tell me what that is? Um, what is it? It's got to be something. Uh, it's got to be something. I, I don't. I mean, at first when I looked at it, it looked like a menorah. Well, Obama, Obama, oh Obama, my Obama, man, man, man. Yeah, this guy, six minute video posted. I think some of these people are either gonna end up dead or uh, fired for doing something they weren't supposed to do. Post pictures, post videos. Yeah. Uh, staff, I guess, that's fine wear a mask because really it's 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 truly only the slaves that you have to worry about it's the slaves that are diseased the rich and famous no they're not yeah great picture a toilet bowl no masks no masks no masks no masks no mask. Good. But really, you know, what are we doing here? Why are we allowing our lives to get destroyed? We treated as if we're some dirty, diseased creature and we have to mask up, stay social distanced, while these people just go about their business. What the hell? Americans, come on. Get out of your demoralized state and recognize that clearly something's wrong. Okay, Christy, this is John Legend's wife. No mask, no mask. Gail King, oh, I'll take my mask off for the picture. I mean, please. I'm so tired of this. Now, who, who, who is Kathleen and Macy Biden? Are they like Biden people, you know, related to Joe? No mask. No masks. No mask, Obama. No, ah, uh, John Legend. Yeah. A few days before, he tweets out, yeah, get vaccinated and mask up. And I can't, this guy goes, ugh, you know, please. Can't even remember his name. My, my memory is really going, but no mask. I think he's got a mask. Yeah, no mask. Pelosi was on Martha's Vineyard, but I, I don't think she went to the party. Hmm. No masks. And here are the morons. The American laughing stock. Sorry, Vanessa. We're now a tie. The baby boomers. Well, here, data suggests vaccines make limited difference in infectiousness of Delta variant, and that was actually the study that I showed you. So, but hey, 
you know, why don't we go for it? We'll just keep on spewing lies and making it about, you know, the right, the Republicans spreading this disease. And their names mentioned on this show also suggested they were ready to die rather than watch the Dow Jones drop a few points. One year later, the stock market is at record highs despite their eagerness to sacrifice the lives of senior citizens. Now, these same ghoulish death cult figures are fighting vaccines, local control over school safety, and the right for businesses to protect their workers and customers. Fed by disinformation from Facebook and crazed politicians, crazed. 70% of Americans who tell pollsters they will not get the vaccine support Republicans. And some of those same Republican officials are celebrating still right now low vaccination rates and threatening to murder Joe Biden or other federal officials who promote vaccinations in states like, say, I don't know, Alabama. Millions of Americans refusing to get the vaccine despite the fact that 95% of doctors have been vaccinated for COVID and twice as many Americans are fully vaccinated than voted for Donald Trump. And still, we are flooded every day with sad stories of Americans who believed the lies fed to them by death cults fueled by Facebook until it was too late. And in Florida, we have a governor more interested in playing politics than saving lives, the DeSantis variant. That's why nearly one in four new COVID cases are coming out of Florida. And why many of their emergency rooms are once again jam-packed. And the state is weeks away from yet another full-blown medical crisis. Are you kidding me? This is completely preventable. And the governor of Florida owns this one. The most tragic part of this story is that almost all of these hospitalizations and deaths would have and could have been avoided if misguided Americans had not followed the crazed teachings of a growing death cult. Republicans. Yeah. How many lies? It's a two minute. Well, you listened to two minutes. I didn't play the last little bit. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> oh, well, I pushed it back. Um, about two minutes. So many lies told by Mika. Mika? Is it Mika? On Morning Joe. And she's so dramatic now. Wow, what a great news reporter you are. And so, oh, my God. She, did you hear it? She cares about people she doesn't even know um, coming down with this. And it's the DeSantis variant. No, it's the Obama variant. No, it's the DeSantis. No, it's the Obama. <laughs> so there is a crisis on the border. The last time the Border Patrol saw this number of migrants trying to cross in a month was two decades ago. This morning, the Ed Board for the Washington Post is demanding a, co a coherent strategy. So yes, President Biden has a real problem on his hands here. And his critics are capitalizing on it. Listen to former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, who is echoing the tone of far-right extremists when it comes to immigration reform. You don't even have to listen. It's just this divide and conquer that is working. That's why they keep doing it. That's why they keep doing it. And they must really have utter contempt for their viewers to be spewing all of this crap. Americans, you don't know that they are the propaganda arm of our U.S. government. You don't, you, you're not, you haven't, you haven't connected any dots? None? None? Wow. It's the Republicans. It's the Republican governors. And oh my God, there are people dying from this. We're just not going to learn, you know. 
It's so sad. You want to look at this? Oh my God. No ICU beds available at top Mississippi hospitals. You guys in Mississippi, go to your top hospitals. Take a video camera with you, please. Abbott seeks out of state health care personnel to help Texas. What? He announced several measures Monday to curb the state's growing COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations, suspended uh, elective surgeries, and yeah, announced the health department will open more antibody fusion centers, vaccine sites for rest, uh, uh, residents. Um, this only gives more weight to the blue side, you know, their argument. Arkansas hospitalizations reach record high. Eight ICU beds left. That's it. Washington governor issues vaccine mandate for state employees. Eventually, it'll get to everyone, those mandates. Requests for help grow in Louisiana. Oh, my God. You know, earlier I was looking at all of these updates and I thought to myself, holy shit. We are going fast into another lockdown or something. Uh, child hospital admissions see steepest increase of pandemic. Florida has the highest number of pediatric hospitalizations. Florida superintendent refuses to allow mask up out required by health department, Leon County, Florida which includes Tallahassee, parents can't opt out. All your kids mask. Well, DeSantis actually put a ban on that. Um, but, I, well, what's going on now? Hey, man, uh, I'm going to withhold your pay if you do that. Let's see. Um, by defying state rules, Hannah risks consequences from the state. DeSantis, his executive order, you defy that, then we don't pay you. Pentagon requiring vaccine for military. France's COVID health health pass in effect. Uh, Dallas school district to require masks. That goes. Uh, That is in opposition to uh, the governor of Texas, his executive order that said no more mask mandates. But it seems that these numbers are just rising and rising. So for the Texas governor to look for out-of-state doctors, wow, you've got a problem in Texas. But, you know, the many tyrants uh, defying the bigger tyrant in the state, wow. Well, this is causing a lot of mess. Houston, Texas' biggest school district, they're going to vote this week on a proposed mask requirement. 72% of U.S. counties reporting high community transmission. Wow. No indications hard hit. Louisiana has reached peak. No, the numbers are going to go up. And up and up and up. Governor has reinstated a mask mandate for August as cases skyrocket. Oh, my God, we're in trouble. Canada opens back up to American tourists as long as you can show proof of vaccination and a negative test. And? Wow. Okay. So the vaccine doesn't kind of work? Maybe? Really? You got to get tested, too? Five-point strategy to get kids back to school safety. Forget about it. That was on Good Morning America. Children with COVID-19 used to make up 1% of patients hospitalized. Now they make up 20%. Half of the children hospitalized under two years old. The others, five and 10 years old. Too young to be vaccinated. 
So maybe we'll drop the age requirement. Parents need to know that Delta is something different and picking off young people like we've never seen. Fear-mongering? Acceleration, you think? If your adolescent kid is unvaccinated, you should assume there's a high likelihood that that child is going to get COVID. And we haven't even gotten to the long COVID discussion around young people and what that means for their long-term cognitive health. ABC News. Okay, well, you know, We've lost it. Mass psychosis. The video that I just posted before this. We're done. We're done. We are exceptional as Americans, but not in the way that an awful lot of Americans think.